over the last year, we've begun to realize what the challenges are in real life in delivering the benefits of the pathway. For example, one of the biggest challenges is the false positivity rate. So when we say there is a cancer, 50% of times there'll be either no cancer seen or no clinically significant cancer seen. That's one of the issues that's come up. The other thing is there's a steep learning curve for radiologists. We know that radiologists working in clinical practice don't perform quite as well as uh, high-performance radiologists working in super centers with uh, multidisciplinary team backing. We know that quite a lot of the contrast that we give as part of the examination doesn't help in the diagnosis, for example. We know that it's that the surgeons now want us to not only make a diagnosis, but also do things like contouring of the prostate and contouring of lesions. And these are unfunded activities, which takes up quite a lot of time. So there's quite a lot of challenges around this space. And so my talk is about the primary benefit of prostate cancer, which is biopsy avoidance, and how much variability there is in delivering that primary goal. My talk will will discuss that, in fact, that the negative predictive value, which enables biopsy avoidance, um, enables us to reduce the diagnosis of indolent cancers. In fact, the negative predictive value is actually very high, and the variance is very low. Whereas the surgeons really want us to do something else, which is to improve the yields of the uh, detection of clinically significant disease. So not so much biopsy avoidance as much as improve the yields of, of, of biopsies. In other words, uh, to provide greater precision in tumor stratifications. And here, and that speaks to what we call the positive predictive value. And here we find that the positive predictive value in the date is actually intermediate, uh, which is why there's such a high false positivity rate, but the variance is huge. Um, so although we think we should be delivering biopsy avoidance and the detection of indolent cancers, the surgeons actually want us to improve precision and improve positive predictive value. So there's a there's a basic fight or tension between uh, delivering these two aims. And so I, I speak to, well, what are the factors that yield, that result in the consistent delivery of the negative predictive value and that lead to the inconsistent delivery of the positive predictive value. And what are those factors and how do we control that? So, uh, uh, and that's basically the, 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 the presentation.